Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I am going to solve a very very important problem which is frequently asked in all the interviews and I have personally faced this problem so many times and the problem statement is uh, from a list you have to find the third highest using the stream API. Okay, and sometimes they will also ask to create one array and then convert into the list and then find the third highest. So we are going to solve that today. So let me just create one class first I will name it as third highest okay and I will also show you like what else you can do that using the stream API so first of all I have to create one list so what I will do is I will go ahead and I will create one array first so I will name it as ARR and I will put some values into it 1 4 21 82 92 25 all right so these are the values that i have kept inside this particular integer now i have to convert it okay in a list all right so what i will do is i will i have taken one list of type integer and i will name it as list is equal to we have one class called arrays and in arrays we have one method called as list now this method takes one argument and will pass our array inside it. So what it will do is it will convert our array to the list. Okay, let me import the list from the util package. Till this it is fine. Now we have to apply our logic here. So fr first from list I will convert it into stream. So list dot stream. Now we have got the stream. Now on a stream we can apply different methods intermediate methods then terminal methods also is there we can apply so what we need here is first of all we need the third highest so if i will do here just the sorted which is a method available if i'll just do the sorted what it will do is it will do 1 4 then 21 then 24 then 82 and then whatever is there 92 okay what we need is third highest so suppose if i'll do sorted and then what i can do is see if i need the third highest that means i need 24 okay so currently this is sorted in the ascending order okay so if i'll apply sorted and if suppose i can skip these three values so i will get this one right but suppose if i'm doing here skip three okay so it will skip the values from the starting okay it does not skip the values from the end it will skip the values from the starting but suppose what if there is one more value here in the array uh, suppose 100 okay so in that case our third highest will be 82 but we are skipping 3 only so it will so again it will give me 24 so this is wrong right so what we have to do is we have to reverse the order so if I will reverse the order, I will have the value like this 84, 92, then I have 192, then I have 82 and then I have 24 like that. Okay. So now what happens, even if I have tons of values, if I will skip three from the starting, th from the starting, if I need the third highest, if I'll skip two from the starting, every time I will do the skip two. I will get the third highest no matter whatever the value is suppose here I have the 10 also so 10 will come after 24 only okay so again it will skip 2 from the starting and I will get the 82 so that is the case here so what we have to do is we have to reverse the sorting order okay now we have to get it, it in the reverse order so first of all let me show you if I will do sorted what exactly we are going to get so if i'll do sorted and if i'll print this let me show you how exactly it will print so i'm applying the print ln here let me save it and let me run it so see currently it is printing it in the ascending order okay but i as i explained we need it in descending order so what we can do is in sorted we can pass the comparator okay comparator has one method called reversed order okay this particular will give the value in the reversed order okay so see this now we are value we are getting it is in the reversed order now we can apply our logic what we need is we need the third highest so what we will do is we will do dot skip 
2 okay now let's see what happens after doing the skip to it will skip these two values and it will print every other values okay all these values so again see this now it is printing from 24 but we also don't need we need only one value which is the third highest so why we can apply the limit one so limit one what exactly will do is it will print only one value after skipping the two it will print only one value so let me save it and let me run it so it is printing 24 which is the third highest now okay so we have the uh, c100 is not there in the array uh, so that is why because 92 is there suppose if i'll add 100 also here so in that case what will happen we will be getting 82 now let me save it and let me run it again and now you can see we are getting the 82 so there are a lot many things that you can apply on stream api after sorted also if you need any filter or if you need any other methods also that you need to apply you can apply so hope you have enjoyed this particular video and if you need any other videos on stream api any, any other program that you want me to solve i will solve it you can mention in the comment section hope you have enjoyed this particular video and thank you so much for watching have a great day